This is a great day. This is truly a great day. Thank you all for joining in this long anticipated ceremony, New Jersey's World War II Memorial, on this beautiful day when across America, our nation pays homage to the service, fidelity, and sacrifice of all American veterans, those living in those past, New Jersey rights a wrong. Today, with this dedication of granite, sculpture, and murals, we commemorate for the ages the lives, the sacrifices, and the legacy of freedom imparted by New Jersey's World War II veterans to our nations, to our state, and to their families. But most especially to New Jersey's children and their children. In and out of those doors of the State House come fourth and fifth graders every year to see how their government works. And now they will walk across the street and see how you delivered their freedom to them as we go forward. As you all know, over a half a million New Jerseyans served in the armed forces during World War II. Ordinary men, ordinary women doing extraordinary things. Dr. Leslie Hazling is here today. Dr. Hazling was one of nearly a thousand African-American pilots trained at the Tuskegee Army Airfield, who overcame segregation and prejudice to be one of the most respected air fighter groups in World War II. For all of the Tuskegee Airmen, Dr. Hazling, we thank you. 16 New Jerseyans were recognized for extraordinary valor and awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. Men of great national repute, like Marine Sergeant John Bassalone, known as Manila John. Others were extraordinary everyman. Heroes like immigrant Peter Tomich, or Francis Burke, or Joseph Sadowski. Today, only one of those 16 survives, Nicholas Oresco of Bayonne. Ordinary men demonstrating extraordinary courage and offering extraordinary sacrifice. It's a high honor, and I'm humbled to be the governor of this great state as we put in place this historic tribute to the greatest generation soldiers, sailors, and airmen. We thank you.